Okay, good morning. Welcome to Math Math number 42A. Math Math 42A. So, um, we were talking about divisor counting yesterday and talked about it for a little bit. And I thought we would just do a quick quick review. Some of these are problems um, out of the challenge section of Art of Problem Solving's uh, Introduction to Counting, or uh, sorry, um, Introduction to Number Theory, right? That's the name of the book. Mm -hmm. Okay, so here's, here's the first one. This is the ch challenge problem from chapter six. Or is it five? Jeez. Tired. All right, chapter five, challenge problem number one. Or um, yeah, how many positive integers are divisors of nine hundred ninety-nine thousand nine hundred ninety-nine? Well, I'm going to factor this number. It's three squared times one hundred eleven thousand one hundred and eleven. It's nine numbers. And I know that one hundred and eleven is three times thirty-seven. Okay. So this number is 3 squared times 3 times 37,000 plus 30 times 37. This is a little complicated. You need one more parenthesis, one more closing parenthesis in there. Sure, I need one more in there. Yeah. Three well, right, you see that? Because it's the three squared times this expression plus that expression. Yeah. Okay. So this is three squared times three times, so you can factor it three out. this number. Well, let's go back to here. What You factored 3 out of this expression. What else can you factor out of this expression? You could also factor 37 out. Okay. So. What does it look like when you factor, what does this expression in here look like when you factor out of 37? So it would be 3 times 37 times, well, this is, this part's 1,000 and that part's 1. Okay. All right. Now, so as we take a little pause here, can you see why this is 111 times 1001, this number here? Mm -hmm. Because you need 111 and then 111 with three zeros. Yeah. So it folds it up. Okay. So 3 squared times 3 times 37 times 1001. I think I'm going to have to do a race a bit up here. That's fine. Do an eraser one around. Three squared times three times seven thirty-seven times one thousand and one is seven times eleven times thirteen. So that's seven times one forty-three. Seven times one forty-two is nine ninety-four. Okay. Now, what do we have? We have 3 cubed times 7 times 11 times 13 times 37. Is our number. And one of the divisors. Yeah, one of the number of divisors. So, to find the number of divisors, you need to look at the power. So, 1. Raise it. So, you have 4 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. Because you can use zero, ones, 0 or 1, 7, 0, 1, 11, 0, 1, 13, and stuff like that. So there's 64 divisors. Okay. Alright, good job. So we got a little bit of factoring practice. And so the thing that kind of took you the longest on this one is seeing that 111, 111 was 111 times 1001. And that's an important idea to see how to factor that. Good. Good job.
Ciao.